Welcome to another Nature Discovery screencast. Look over my shoulder and watch as I look for the pure beauty found in nature from the raw videos taken on one of my photo walks. The date of this photo walk was February 20th, 2017, and it took place at my North Carolina Creekside Nature Preserve in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that is in the United States. Today we're going to look at some video clips that uh, kind of varied in what we're going to find today. Butterflies, water striders, Carolina chickadees, fish, bees, spiders. Uh, let's take a look at what we're looking at today. Now yeah, we have a one of the first butterflies I saw of the season here. A very, very small butterfly. And you first notice these butterflies when they flop by you. <laughs> they uh, tend to flop around when they're flying. I don't know how else to, to say it. And predominantly when they're flopping by you, you uh, see purple. The upper side of their wings are purple, but when they're sitting, they're usually always sitting with their wings closed. So you see the underside, kind of a light grayish with the black dots. I'll be looking up these uh, beautiful creatures here and figuring out what they really are and identifying them. But today we're finding the good portions of the video that we could use in nature videos someday here. And I think we have a little segment here of the butterfly at rest. He opens up his wings and you can just catch the purple. And I'm just uh, going through one frame at a time with this HD video I record at 60 frames per second so each one of these photographs is 1 60th of a second and I snap a picture 1 60th of a second you snap a picture and you get to see a little bit although there's usually a lot of motion blur because they're moving their wings so quickly And uh, I think in this video clip we have the same butterfly and we can get a closer look at the butterfly. Now these butterflies I think they know you're there and I think they always try to sit with their hindquarters toward you <laughs> because they always land and you always get this very Thin looking profile view right here. <laughs> you you see their tail and you see their upper wings and you see their two antennas sticking out. <laughs> but uh, I was able to move and uh, see the side of his lower wing a little bit there. Now if we very slowly go through this clip here too and look at uh, his movement. He's not moving much, but there's something else I observed. There's a small little spider on the underside. There he is. He crawls out from the underside. Take a look. He's down there somewhere. There he comes. He's just crawling around the flower. Don't know 
we really can't see them good enough to maybe identify them but <laughs> All right, so let's take and uh, mark the first uh, part of our butterfly clip right about there. And he flies away and is right about there. And now we have a segment that we'll be able to look at these segments later together and just see the good video and take out all the video that's uh, unusable. And let's take a look at the We'll start this one right off here and we'll make the quite a bit of just the tail there pointing at us. But we'll make the uh, out right there. We can see the spider and the butterfly. All right, now we're going to look at water striders. Yes, these. Bugs can walk on water. They tell me that uh, their their legs have very tiny hairs, and the air trapped in the hairs is what keeps the uh, bugs walking on the water. Uh, these insects eat other insects. I have video of uh, these guys hauling around their prey, and uh, so they will pounce upon small bees and flies and other little insects that happen upon the water surface and uh, they will go after them and I believe in my reading that these guys do fly too although I've, so far I've only ever seen them sitting on the water like this and um, these two are actually a pair mating the uh, female which almost looks bigger is the one on the bottom and the one on the top is the male in this case and these guys will just this is how they're swimming for hour after hour together I'm not quite sure of the mating habits here and the in, entire uh, process of how long it takes or uh, or anything but uh, um, that's what we seem to have here, and they're called water striders. There's a big Latin name for them that I can't pronounce. And there's some segments here where you get uh, pretty good uh, side shots. I like the shots too where uh, you can see them. Let's skim, skim over this. The uh, segments where you can actually see them propelling themselves. Um, let's see if we can catch this one. He uses those two long front legs, although he has a pair of legs right underneath his head there. He's using basically the second set of legs in the front. And there he... Uh, she, yeah, there uh, she took, uh, it was like uh, when you're in a canoe and you're using your paddles. Let's see if we can see him, uh, see the pair do a turn here. Yeah, he just takes that, that left leg and just, uh, uses it once and now they're uh, turned at a different angle. Of course the camera loses the focus. When you're doing a photography on water like this, what the camera tries to do sometimes is basically focus on the reflection. So in the reflection you see the trees on the other side of the pond and uh, the camera will sometimes, if there's a little wave or ripple, uh, we'll, we'll be trying to focus on something else. Or we're trying to focus on the bottom, which is only several inches deep here. Um, this is a little a stream that has um, a little section of backwater that uh, isn't moving around. And uh, that's what these guys usually hang out on. And uh, we actually have three uh, recorded clips.
clips here. Here you can really see them swimming, paddling. Predominantly uh, brown with uh, little white stripes along their sides. I don't know if that means their entire underbelly is white. But uh, here, this one's working in a current a little bit. And uh, he seems to be just trying to stay in one spot with the currents working against him. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that turn here where he just more paddle with the left and <laughs> now we're going around in circles and off the frame we go. I think that's a nice uh, in focus segment there. Remember, I create a lot of 30 second nature videos, and with a 30 second nature video, you really need uh, three or four seconds of uh, video, and it, that allows you to uh, create um, a small little three second video and then stretch it out to 30 seconds, and that, in effect, makes it slow motion at, at 60 frames per second. So you can start to really observe what's going on and how the uh, how the one on the top is hanging on to the one on the bottom. Just kind of wrapped its legs around the front. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, Let's pick this as an in and uh, let's pick that as an out. Just a segment there. We gotta just change that to take away the uh, out of focus. And let's just, uh, we've got a good. side shot of them here and we'll just pick it out. Let's see, is there a segment? I like the angle um, here where you can really see the water indented. <laughs> So we have a little clip from from each one there. All right, let's move on from the water and let's turn the camera skyward here. And uh, it looks like the first little creature we come across is the uh, Carolina chickadee. Now, these little guys, they just keep moving. They don't sit in any one spot very long at all. I'm going through. Uh, one frame at a time here and uh, just uh, some uh, I have the sun behind me here so I think uh, we're seeing some pretty good video where he's pretty well lit you see the shadows on the underside it's a very sunny day and with photography sometimes the sunny bright days are not as good as a dull overcast day with the cameras today and their ability to work well in a little bit lower light uh, sometimes you you have a much better lit subject in the on a dreary day than you do on a bright and sunny day because of the shadows uh, you get one bright over exposed section of his head there and then that makes the uh, the rest of them kind of dark but here uh, you can see his jumping technique. You also see the size of his body and the, <laughs> the size of his wings there. 
I think I read somewhere where these guys, if you weigh them, they weigh less than a dime would weigh if you weigh a dime. <laughs> so uh, they're not very heavy birds, and they don't have very big wings compared to a lot of birds and their, their body size. Well, he just jumping right up, took one flap, used his tail feathers there to uh, stabilize himself a little. There you can see his tail feathers spread. All right, let's see if the camera catches up. I mean the cameraman catches up. <laughs> and uh, here he's just sitting. Looks around, flips around. Oh, what a dive. What a dive technique. Oh, my. Using, he's not flapping his wings, but he's using his tail and his right wing there to try, uh, try to uh, stabilize where he's going. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting little piece of video. We'll be able to make a video, 30 second nature video out of this one. My goal when I go out and uh, shoot is uh, basically walk through uh, on my photo walk and if it moves I shoot it. <laughs> now what that leaves you with is a huge amount of video and uh, organizing video and photos is my challenge and over the course of time this year I'll be doing some of these screencasts on the uh, techniques and the equipment that I use that I've discovered works for me it might not work for other photographers but uh, okay beautiful little bird let's move on we have some different video here of the same creature and you can see most of the time when you're trying to you catch these guys I know we're gonna get seasick just trying to watch your video we we have just a clip of them at the very end not very good that's why we have to go through this raw video is to find find the good and the bad and sometimes we just find that we have to throw it on the cutting room floor it's just not good enough Although there seems to be a little segment I just love the way these guys dive bomb here I don't know it's not a super uh, good little segment cameras moving and stuff but we'll do an in and an out point here and uh, we'll have a little video there to work with in the future okay now we just uh, hit the creek and now we're looking at the bottom of the creek through two or three inches of water and uh, the creek is a place that is just teeming with life if you know where to look for it <laughs> and uh, stagnant ponds have even more life with the creek uh, once every two or three months we have a heavy rain and the muddy floodwaters come and wipe everything away and then it starts all over again sometimes but um, I don't know what I'm videotaping here other than just taking some b-roll you might say of a creek bottom I have no idea what uh, what this algae is with the air bubbles trapped in it. I don't understand the uh, the nature going on here at all. It looks like we have some additional video here. It seem to have some scum or algae or something growing off of the the leaves laying on the bottom of the stream. A leaf litter and I don't understand what's going on here at all and I don't see anything moving I know you can find 
all sorts of interesting things. <clears throat> I'm trying to debate what this, what this, uh, what that is right there. <laughs> Nature discovery. I didn't even, it's not moving. It looks almost like a uh, submerged damselfly, but I uh, don't know what that's about. There's again some of that algae trapping air bubbles thing. I don't know what that is. Here we have a little deeper section of the creek and we have some fish. Yeah, with that B-roll of the creek bottom there, I just don't know. I'm just going to leave it all there. Uh, maybe I'll take a little segment of it here and just uh, Just take a couple little segments to show us what what the content of those segments are. And uh, let's see here. It looks like this segment right in here gives us some in-focus fish swimming. These are not big fish. These are not fish that you would uh, make a meal out of. But uh, look at what I see here. There's another fish in the background. Didn't even notice him when I was taking the video here. He's a little bit bigger fish. I didn't concentrate on that fish in the background because I didn't see him. So we have two kinds of fish in our little video clip here. I really don't know what I have until I get home and look at these these video clips and try to find my favorite little sections to use in video. So this is the favorite part of photography for me is this discovery process to figure out all these beautiful little creatures and uh, observe the creatures and what they're doing here. Now swing the camera out of the creek and go to the sunny spot of the creek bed here. Uh, this creek has a long pasture running just mere feet away from the creek bank. And this is in that pasture area. So we're 20 feet away from the water here. And we're in a mowed pasture area, mowed once a year. And uh, just a beautiful spot for pollinating and feeding and uh, observation of... Uh, even some of the uh, airborne creek creatures. <laughs> and uh, this is a first little honeybee of the season. This is winter yet. This is February 20th. And uh, he's not very in focus. The camera, when you point at something like this, is trying to focus <laughs> at many different things sometimes, at, at different... There you can see when... The bee is out of focus. The focus of the leaves behind them are in focus. And as they go out of focus, he comes in focus. So the camera's trying its darndest to focus on something. And when the creatures are just so small, um, it's hard to keep them in focus. So I, I don't really know if I have any video that's really... Um, good enough to use in a production but uh, it's probably video that's good enough to use in identification for this bee and we'll just make an in and uh, we'll watch them fly away a little bit and we'll make that an out so okay now 
in that same meadow is a leaf and on the leaf is a tiny little spider I'm not sure of the identity of these guys but there were thousands of them very small little spiders walking around in the leaf litter even down toward the creek and they all look pretty much the same to me and they were everywhere scampering around as you approach them they'll they'll run two or three inches or jump two or three inches and hide or sit still pretend you can't see them that's what this guy's doing right now he's picked a leaf that uh, his coloration uh, you is pretty close to the leaf there isn't it and he doesn't crawl away he jumps away I know there's a whole group of these spiders that are called jumping spiders so maybe that's what we've got here and maybe that's why they call them jumping spiders he takes one flying leap off of that uh, plant goes several inches in his jump well we'll make that an out and we'll make this and in here and we have another little segment not very long segment but uh, we have our spider and then uh, along the creek here we find uh, a honeybee first one of the first honeybees of the season here and uh, they they I've noticed this before they come down to the creek and drink I believe uh, if they're like the butterflies, they're they're kind of lapping up the moisture on the uh, the the pebble bed here on the bottom. So I believe they're probably getting minerals and moisture at the same time. And uh, there's another fly or bee of some type right along the water's edge there on the left. See him fly away here. Their bodies look uh, way bigger than what those wings can support but I think they beat their wings so fast they get more lift out of them than, than a bird's uh, short little wings. I believe we have this one almost looks like a different bee or the lights different it might be the same bee but here we have a little more of a side view shot and you can see what he's doing there he's kind of lapping up sucking up with that big straw is <laughs> the water there so he's got his uh, straw extended his antenna are kind of bent forward. See his body throbbing in the background there. Well, we should see him take off. Antennas, both parts being clean. Straw stowed checklist for uh, takeoff I think here he's accomplished what he came for he's actually looking around a little bit I think yeah this is a different bee than that other one we just looked at oh, got a clean clean my face first here clean the legs up get this wet stuff on me there he goes alright an interesting little video there let's uh, got a, actually a lot of video the camera kinda just moves there but uh, let's take a point where we can see his uh, profile a little bit right there and call that an in and we'll take a point right after okay I believe we have another nature discovery screencast in the can